Now we come to example 13. The following is a cumulative frequency curve showing the marks of 160 students and the full mark is 90. And uh, for part A, we have to find the median Q1 and Q3, the first and the third quartiles. And since we have 160 students, so let's look at Q2, the middle value. This will be the middle mark of 160 students. And for graphical methods, we simply divide this by 2. That is, we have to find the active value of the student marks. So therefore, if we read from here, and then we can find Q2 here. This is Q2. And this is about 48 marks. And uh, similarly, for Q1 and Q3, for Q1, we again divide the lower half into two equal halves. That is, we have to find the 40th mark. This is Q1. This is about 42. And uh, for Q3, we have to find the middle mark of the upper half. And again, we read from the graph Q3. This is about 54. And then for part B, again, we have to find the highest 5% of the students. Since the highest 5% will be awarded a grade A. And find the least mark that a candidate should score in order to get a grade A. So we have to look for the top 5% of the marks. So if we multiply 160 by 5%, we have uh, 8 students. Uh, 8 students. So we just look up the 152 value. Uh, we subtract 160 by 8. They have a rewrite from 152 and then we can read the data here. And this is about 73 marks. So actually, if a student scored more than 73 marks, he or she will be at the top 5%. Uh, he or she will be at this part of the curve. And therefore, he or she will get grade A here. This is the top 5%.